Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents Vlogtober, Crochet-tober 2021 and today is, check in the date because I don't remember when I'm not at work, that it, today is the 8th. And speaking of not at work, I guess today is officially the last day of my vacation being Friday. I go back to work on Monday. Yeah, vacation time always goes way too fast. Uh, for my Vlogtober project, looky looky, I have added two unusual colors. I have added a brown color that I'm pretty sure is a Just Yarn color. I don't remember the name of the color. And this is the Camo. I've made hats and fingerless gloves in the Camo for my friend Sean. And I've got some left, so I'm going to add it to this blanket. I did that today. And, of course, you can see the other colors that have come up. There's going to be some really bright colors coming. And this is growing really big right now. Because not working, I have time to just sit and crochet. Uh, also talking about some vlogtober stuff check out the nails let's see if they'll focus they probably won't yeah i know they're short i don't have a boo-boo um these are from color street and yeah not sponsored nothing i just i love halloween nails i can't do them myself i really bite at doing my own nails so I got a couple of sets for Halloween type stuff. These are bats and then the moon and all kinds of stuff. And you see I've got my sparkly web earrings there. And this little shirt is kind of cute. It came from Torrid. It's got little skulls on it and little Halloween-y type stuff all over it. Yes, I'm kind of a Halloween junkie. Um, besides that Halloween stuff, I am starting on uh, the cow crochet along that Lisa Ladybird Loves is having. And it's called the Pick and Mix Cow. You pick a main color and then four colors that you decide what number they are. And she does a spinny wheelie thing and you get you get your number for your color. And then the other spinny wheelie thing is a stitch. Oh, and this first stitch, everybody has, pretty much everybody has agreed that they hate doing it. I practically have a blister on the end of my finger from trying to wiggle this stitch in. It was the waistcoat stitch. I'm done. No more of that. Um, the stitch that I'm doing as my main color interval is um, the extended, the joined extended double crochet, which I actually have a tutorial for on my channel um, in my tutorials. And my main color is actually a red heart ombre stripe. So you will see the, the main chain and this one here, which it starts going to a different color brown and lighter and this mustard was my color number one this here with the waistcoat stitch from now on waistcoat stitch is just gonna just be a, leave an awful taste in my mouth I'm just saying and then I went ahead and did next week's two base rows to get a head start because I'll be back at work um, and that is in my stripe and you can see the colors kind of change there as you go across but that uh, joint extended double crochet is just a nice it's a nice stitch on a blanket. It gives you a good fabric. As long as you don't use too tight of tension or too small of a hook, it does have a really nice drape to it. So yeah, that is the start of that. And I'm not making mine a huge blanket size. It looks like it'll be, well, it'll definitely be like a lap blanket for me. It will sit across my large lap, which is fine. Or I might put it on the back of my recliner and lay it there because it's gonna be all warm colors like this. And I kind of like that. Something else that of course I'm working on, which I'm gonna pick up and work on right now, my towel toppers, I do that a lot, especially when I get to this point. I think I have my nine stitches there. Yep. And there's something else I wanted to talk about in this Vlogtober post. How did I get here? How did I end up doing YouTube videos about crochet? And that's actually kind of interesting. I had a YouTube channel before, and if you look at my really old videos, you'll see it's some rants and some makeup stuff, just random things, just kind of me being me, which that's all good. Nah, the most I have was like 20 subscribers, okay? I didn't have a community to hang out with. It was just kind of me shouting at the world. Um, set it aside for a few years. And as some of you may know, if you've watched my channel before, you know I deal with depression a lot um, the doctors call it chronic recurring major depressive disorder yeah it's got a name 
And um, it's just something I've dealt with most of my life. Also CPTSD, as well as, you know, the general anxiety and things that come along with that. Um, beginning of this year, I was just having a moment, which it happens when you get, get depression. I mean, you could have the best stuff going on in the world and a bout of depression can hit you and it's chemical. It's, it's nothing that you necessarily did. Um, but I know of things that help me not go into that spiral. If I feel it coming, sometimes I will succumb to it and just, I will suck for all like until it's over. And sometimes it's like, okay, I see it coming. Let's do something that kind of makes it go away. And I was poking around on YouTube and I thought, you know what? I think some craft supplies would be cool. I love craft supplies, but I have learned that accumulating craft supplies and using them are two totally different hobbies. Kind of like with yarn. But I um, actually was searching for craft supply giveaways and I stumbled upon Crystal Bag a Day with one of her giveaways. If you've never seen Crystal Bag a Day, okay, first of all, um, what part of YouTube have you been on? Because you haven't been in the yarn part. But you know, she does really huge, generous giveaways. And of course I entered, and of course I didn't win, but that's okay. I started watching her content and I went, oh, this is kind of fun, you know, the crocheting. And I started learning a little bit. And I ran into other people. I saw some other people in there and they mentioned, you know, that they have channels and stuff, you know, in the comments. And I went and poked around and looked. And I have stumbled upon just a wonderful community. Um, it was shortly after that, that I, you know, got a ball of yarn and ordered some hooks from Wish and started crocheting. Now my grandmother had tried to teach me Gosh, when I was eight or nine years old, it never stuck. I could do a chain and that was about it. But now I'm crocheting all the things, okay? Thanks to all the many great tutorials um, on YouTube from Crystal and from others, I have learned so much and I'm learning every day um, and just kind of winging it and doing my own thing too. But I just wanted to say that, you know what? It, it also, just the thought of winning that big prize and the finding something new and fun to do and finding a community that's accepting and, you know, they take me and my weirdness and quirkiness and we celebrate their weirdness and quirkiness right along with it. That has meant the world to staving off depressive episodes for me. Do they still try to happen? Yes. And they end up triggered by, you know, work things and all of that. But I have found that if I crochet some, it calms my mind. It brings me some peace. And that is something that I needed. And it's also something I can do without running off into a room and hiding, which is never good for my state of mind. Um, I do better if I have my people around, you know my hubby's there but sometimes when I'm in a depressive episode I'm just gonna sit there and I'm not gonna say anything which is so unlike me that everybody knows something is wrong but nothing can budge it but this budges it I have found so many fun people People that if we lived close to each other, we would definitely be hanging out, even in person, even though I don't even do that anymore, okay? And it's all thanks to Crystal Bag a Day putting out a really generous giveaway that I didn't win. <laughs> I still haven't won any of her giveaways, but I try. <laughs> but that's not why I watch her channel, though. She puts out great content. Her vlog channel is a lot of fun. I get to see interesting things, you know, that they're doing with their life, and I just... I don't know. Um, this community has just meant so much to me and I'm glad that I stumbled into it because a lot more of this happens. Um, the hubby noticed, you know, he noticed that he says like at least three times a week, he is so glad that I found a craft that I really enjoy doing that I keep doing because, you know, I have sewing, I'm looking over there in the direction of my room that has sewing machines and fabric and all these other crafty things. But I keep going back to the yarn. So thank you 
Crystal, I appreciate you and everything that the Bag -Day crew has done and continues to do because this brings me a lot of happiness and I just really love it. Thanks for coming by for this little Vlogtober post, a little different than usual, a little longer, but um, I appreciate it and I'd love it if you check the description and hit like and subscribe on your way out. See ya.